Hi, <laughs> Tacoma Comics here. Uh, I wanted to do an update on my Stephanie Hans collection. If you are a Stephanie Hans fan or you want to see all my Stephanie Hans books, go to my, uh, my channel, look on my playlist, Tacoma Comics playlist, Stephanie Hans, and you will see um, a large variety of Stephanie Hans books that I've collected over the past five or six years. Um, I think it was probably about five years ago or so Poor Man's Comics put out a Poor Man's Comics put out uh, his Adam Hughes collection and I was like, oh, that's cool. I want to start collecting like all the books from a single artist. So uh, Stephanie Hans is one that I was just getting introduced at that time through uh, Die and I think before that through uh, her work on Journey into Mystery and a couple of her Wicked and Divine covers. Uh, and I was like, oh, I like this artist. I'm going to stick with this artist. And so um, for better or for worse, I have collected uh, pretty much everything she's put out. And I joke, it's almost always for better. I will show you one or two where I overpaid for a book that I don't love. And it wasn't like, oh, I've got to get this um, beautiful cover. It's more like, oh, I've got to get this Hans cover. Um, but for the most part, I am super excited um, with the, the books that she puts out and the work that she does. Uh, this is a book that I had lost at some point, and I, I found or got a new copy. This is a cover of Faith that she did. Um, there is a an exclusive, another cover of Faith that she did, which is one of the books that I don't have. I might have shown that one already. I'm not sure. Rogue's Gallery. Um, and if you look up close, you see the people behind the glass. Um, this is very typical what she does in her work. You have to kind of look really close to see these faded out pictures that she puts in there and I think she just does a wonderful job. Here's Mandalorian um, issue, what is it, six I think? Five, sorry, a second print. Boom. Uh, she's done a few Mandalorian covers. This is one of my all-time favorites from the Stan Lee uh, Entertainment Box. Um, this Storm Black Panther Stan Lee cover. I just think that's phenomenal. Really big fan of that. This X-Men Red blew me away. Absolutely love that. Love me some Storm again. Uh, I might have shown Grimm before. A few of these I might have shown before, but I'm about to get up to like new ones. This is Grimm issue two, Virgin variant. Um, this one was called Briar. I don't know much about it. I do love the cover, um, but I don't know a lot about Briar or Grimm, to be honest. I know Grimm was pretty popular for a while, like a lot of indies do. They shoot up and then they... Um, Here's one, and this is called Damn Them All, by si written by Cy Spurrier. Uh, this is the one in 100, which, you know, for a book that I knew nothing about, really did not want to spend money on a one in 100 ratio. I found an on online shop selling it for about half that, about, so about 50 bucks, which was still a lot. Uh, to pay for a book that is not like my absolute favorite cover of hers. So, um, yeah, don't love the fact that uh, I had to pay that much for that book, but still pretty cool cover. Um, this is a very recent one, and this one obviously has a bit of the dye influence, so the clothing is a bit different. This is Spider-Man 10, the Hellfire Gala variant, right? So this red over here around the eye, even though it's the hair, kind of brings into mind Ash from Die, but the uh, the costuming here is very much different than the characters in Die, so um, I certainly think this is a spectacular cover once again. This is a Power Rangers 1 in 25, and I just love, again, you got the focus on this character in very clear, contrasting colors here is gorgeous enough. This almost just looks like backdrop of paint until you look really closely and you see, oh, this is actually one of the Power Rangers. And then this little detail up here uh, looks like reflection of the bad guy in the helmet. I don't know much about Power Rangers and who the good guys and bad guys are. Um, I guess the, like, anti-Power Rangers are the bad guys. I don't know. Anyway, another absolutely beautiful cover. And that's one where I did not mind going to eBay and spending money on a 1 in 25. This is probably my least favorite Hans cover. Um, I'm not a fan of this homage. Um, I guess every artist needs to do this homage at some point, uh, but I'm, I'm not impressed by this book. Uh, and that's okay. 
Bloodline, Daughter of Blade, another classic one. Again, you've got this character in the foreground, in really high contrast colors, very clear, and then very faded muted colors back here. And you've got this second character who I assume is Blade, yeah. All right, so that's just the very typical of her style in a lot of her covers, absolutely love that. Here's a couple more Mandalorians, season one is issue one. There is a virgin variant of this, but uh, if you know me, you know I don't love virgin variants. Um, I'm not a big fan of them. These uh, comic clear bags are beautiful, but they do give off um, reflection like you're looking at mylar, and especially with the ring light right, right here. I'm noticing that, so I'll try to be careful with my reflections. Uh, here's Mandalorian issue eight. Uh, this is limited to 800. I have an authentic key, so it's authentic. Another Star Wars inspired one here is Yoda, issue number one. Good series by Jody Hauser, by the way, if you're not reading Yoda or if you have not yet read Yoda. Um, this Scarlet Witch, I believe, was like a 1 in 15, 1 in 25 or something. Got the Neil Gaiman, um, is it, yeah, Miracle Man number 4. Moving over to Hallow's Eve. And again, there's a virgin variant of this. Um, I like writing on my comics. I just do. Demon Wars, that's a great, great cover. Absolutely love that. By the way, if you're not familiar with Stephanie Hans, on about 90 to 95% of her covers, she has SH in this little square like that. Uh, I, it's very rare to find a cover that does not have that somewhere indicating it's by her. This is Immortal X-Men number 11, and again, she goes back to Storm. She actually did uh, about half the covers on the run of Storm by Greg Pak back in some 2012, 2013, something like that. Very, very cool. Love this. Again, the, um, the eye fading away, very much like uh, Ash and Die, but I don't think I'd call this a ripoff. I just think I'd call this, you know, similar style. Uh, you got this dark lightning here and then kind of the more aerial, like ethereal air, smoke, wisps of smoke here. Really beautiful, really beautiful. This is another one. I don't know anything about this book, and I think this is issue two. Uh, very different stylistically. Uh, your eye is kind of brought to the faded out character first, because much larger this lady here, and then you gotta wonder what the heck's going on there with the more high contrast character. So as opposed to the other co covers where the high contrast character is the one that you saw first, and the faded out one was in the background. This is kind of flips it on the side, on its head, and you see this one first, and you're like, what the heck is that? Who is that? Um, even from here, it's very hard to tell. It looks like the character Eve from that comic Eve. That's about all that I can get out of that. Um, so, yeah, another beautiful one. And then one of the most recent things she's done, she has a Doctor Strange um, ratio coming out, and I think that's the last one that I've seen of her. She's been super busy with um, the hardcover for Die, but she also did this set of connecting Walking Dead covers that should be the um, thumbnail for this video. Oh my God, they're amazing. And, and they don't look amazing unless you put them together and they, they go up on the wall over there. Uh, but this is, I don't know, the first one she did is issue 61. And if you look, you've got the reflection of little boy in the hand. I'm just going to turn off the light here. I don't know if that's going to kill it for us or not. Uh, it doesn't really help with the reflection at all. But there is a boy in that hand. Um, again, just gorgeous, amazing stuff here. 62, you got Abraham laying down there naked. And 63, the <laughs> I always think of him as the, um, the sergeant from the wire. Uh, I guess Gilliam, I believe, is the actor's name. Seth Gilliam, maybe. Um, I forget the name of the reverend that he played that they came across. And then just, you know, more and more and more and 
more. Issue 64, this is great too, because uh, it has Everly's favorite character, Michonne, but it also has a zombie up close. And she does, Stephanie Hans does a really good job with gore as well. If you look at the fallen and die, and just like, some of the monsters and the death and destruction. And then finally, I thought 64 is last. I didn't realize there are there's six connecting issues. They're usually connecting issues are usually three, like a triptych or five. To find six connecting issues is kind of interesting to me. I was not expecting that. But this is um, obviously Carl and his dad, Rick, uh, witnessing the horror and destruction. And so they all connect. Like I said, I'm not going to... Put them, I'm not going to hold them all up because I don't have six hands, but you get the idea. Um, I can do it this way, actually, one at a time. You can kind of get the get the gist of it, which is a personal pun because EM gist is becoming my next favorite uh, my next favorite artist who I might start collecting everything from. Anyway, uh, beautiful, beautiful collection. The only other stuff I have from Stephanie Hans I don't have right here is um, she's been working recently on uh, the Die Kickstarter. So I've got the book and they got a lot of new illustrations from her in the book. I'm not going to take that and go through every page, but I highly suggest you ask your LCS to order it now because you can get the book. Um, so if you're a fan and you want more Die in your life, you go ahead and get the Kickstarter from Karen Gillen and Stephanie Hans. You can now... You don't have to purchase, if the Kickstarter is over, what I'm saying is you can purchase it as you would anything else from your LCS. All right, thanks very much. If you have a favorite artist that you uh, love and follow, please uh, show us the work by that artist that you have. And in the comments, drop like, uh, just, just, you know, drop your favorite artist and go ahead and make a video. I'd love to see your videos on this stuff. It just really intrigues me. Take care.